When deciding on the position for your goal, be sure to refer to the dimensions of your specific model. Make sure that the location you select for your anchor will allow for your backboard to fall correctly over the edge of the court surface. Refer to your manual to see the distance required from the edge of the play surface, usually two to three feet back depending on the model purchased. Also, be sure there is enough clearance behind your goal to easily access the height adjustment mechanism. Once you have selected the desired location for your anchor, stop and call 811 to ensure that the area is safe to dig. Now that you've chosen the position and made sure that it is safe to dig, you will need a few items to make your installation as easy as possible. Consult your installation instructions for the dimensions of your forming wall, which you will construct using the 2x6 lumber. Once completed, use it as a guide to begin digging. The forming wall will not be needed in most installation applications, although it does give a nice finished square look. The forming wall is sometimes needed when the playing surface is higher than the install area surface. Remove enough topsoil to create an area for the forming wall to sit in. Make sure that it is sitting level to the playing surface. You can now begin digging the hole for your anchor system. Be sure to dig the hole to the correct depth, which is 48 inches, belling out the bottom of the hole to ensure ultimate rigidity. If you live in a colder climate, be sure that the anchor is set below the frost line. It is important that you have your J-bolt assembly put together before you start pouring concrete. Now that your hole is dug, mix your concrete according to the direction supplied by the manufacturer. Be certain that you have enough concrete on hand to fill the anchor hole. It is a good idea to have a couple of spare bags on hand. Concrete must be poured in one setting to allow it to cast as a single piece. When the hole is half full, you will need to agitate the concrete to ensure that it sets properly. Now position the four steel rebar rods in the concrete as described in your installation instructions. Once they are in place, finish filling the hole with concrete to the top, using a tool to smooth the concrete. You will now need to measure the correct distance from the playing surface to place the assembled anchor. Press the anchor down into the concrete until the bottom of the anchor plate is resting on top of the concrete, being careful not to get any concrete on the threads on top of the anchor. Be sure that the anchor plate is sitting square to the forming wall and level with the playing surface. It does not have to be perfectly level as you will be able to adjust during the post assembly, but it is best to have it as level as possible at this time. You must allow the concrete to cure for at least 72 hours before beginning the post assembly.